The LaPorte County Symphony Orchestra has been celebrating 50 years and they're coming upon their last event and I have Tim King with us here. He's going to talk a bit more about this. This is really kind of the, the ultimate ending to it the is. series. It is. We've had, a, we've had a wonderful year. Actually, it's been two years in the planning and uh, a year worth of concerts and small ensembles and special events. But this last one is going to be Saturday, April the 22nd. Okay, so it's seven, coming up. Uh, right, 7 p.m. Central Time. We're on Central Time yep. at the Civic Auditorium in LaPorte. And we're going to be having not one guest, but two guests with us. Uh, for the first half, we're going to have the Purdue Varsity Glee Club. That's amazing. Yeah, and they're a wonderful group. We had them back in 2015, and they okay. did a wonderful show. And a lot of folks from Purdue, a lot of graduates around here. You know, uh, so, uh, we bet. know there's a lot of Notre Dame <laughs> graduates, right? But a lot of Purdue graduates, yeah. and they follow the Glee Club. Yeah. And it's a wonderful, wonderful group of, of young men that are singing with us. So they're going to okay. perform some numbers by themselves on the first half okay. and then we're going to close the orchestra with a couple of numbers with with orchestra and them. They don't do that many orchestra appearances. So this is going to be yeah. one of the rare orchestra appearances okay. uh, with them. And then we'll have an intermission and then the second half we'll be welcoming the Texas Tenors. Now for people that don't know the people that do know the Texas Tenors follow them immediately. <laughs> but the people that don't know the Texas Tenors are three uh, young men who won America's Got Talent just a few years ago. Oh, okay. And okay. they are they're they're all classically trained singers, uh, but they do, we're, they're doing a program with us called Classics and Broadway Remembered. So it's going to be all music mm. that people know. Uh, some they'll That's all great. sing together, some they'll do solos, but they're doing their program with the orchestra on, on the second half. Uh, I've seen um, them um, on occasion. I've seen YouTube. You just go to thetexastenors.com and you'll uh -huh. see their website. But they have quite the following. We've already sold tickets from eight states. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know, I know. Uh, but we still have tickets um, available. It's okay, just uh, lcso.net um, on, on the tickets. It's $30 for the balcony admission. It's general admission. That's very and we have so several uh, several tickets left. So we encourage people to come and hear the orchestra, the Burdugli Club, and the Texas Tenors. And, uh, you know, how does, uh, I, I'm sure there's a lot of logistics that go <laughs> into coordinating something like this. You don't normally have two special no, guests. No. Um, so tell us more about how that process was, you know, getting to this point. Well, um, the board really wanted to have what we call a blowout sort of concert, and yeah. so they we had already uh, we had already uh, arranged to have the Purdue Glee Club with okay. us. That was done even like w way back, okay. and they said, "Well, let's let's do something more uh, than that." And so uh, I did some research um, and found these gentlemen, and then started asking around to some of my colleagues around the country, and they said, "This is a show you really want to bring in. They, yeah. They're they're very audience friendly." Um, and they said they'll the, they'll whip up the audience like crazy, and and I've I've seen that now with the people that have bought the tickets and names that I do not recognize. Uh -huh from uh, other states that are coming in because they've seen these yeah. fellas before and, and follow them. And that's great to bring in new people into the Little Park oh. County Symphony Orchestra and you know all of those who are going to support you That's as well. right. So that's, you know, it's great for them that they're bringing that. So those people are going to hear our orchestra yeah. that they've never heard before, probably never heard of before. Uh -huh. um, and so that will be really nice to, to have all these new people that are going to be coming in and hearing the whole evening. Now the orchestra itself, you guys stay within LaPorte County, mm -hmm. but the Texas Tenors and the Purdue Varsity Glee Club, I mean, they're traveling. Teams. They do. A uh, Purdue Varsity Glee Club, my understanding is, you know, no, nobody's a music major. There are no music majors oh, at Purdue. Really? Uh -uh. I didn't realize There's that. No, okay. But yet they have a fantastic band. They have a fantastic glee club. Right, yeah. So these are all basically engineering majors that are there, <laughs> young men who who really want to sing, who That's have very, amazing. very fine voices. So my understanding is they take a lot of weekends and they travel to various okay. places. Um, like spring break, they might go to Florida to, to perform for an alumni club yeah. or something like that, places down there. Um, but this will be one of the few orchestra appearances that mm -hmm. they will do because they have their own set routine that they okay. do for their stuff. So this is a special, we've had two pieces especially arranged for them to play with us. The Texas tenors are all over the place. Yeah. Um, uh, they're going to be at the Louisville Orchestra earlier this month. They're going to be with the Augusta Georgia Symphony two days before they're with us. Oh gosh. <laughs> and they're going to be doing five days in Branson at, at some point in April. And then they go to Texas. I mean, you, you go to their website, it's right on their front page, and you'll see it's like day after schedule. day after day, they take a couple of days off, and then day after day after day. A couple of days. So, yeah, they just sang the national yeah. anthem for the Texas Rangers opening game or something like that. So, Amazing. It, yeah. But, fantastic voices and really really good show people and i love that it's really a family friendly event yes. you know they their their repertoire is very 
wide and it vast. It is, it is. This, this program is going to be called Classics and Broadway Remembered. So obviously it's going to be pieces that everybody knows already, mm -hmm. but just sung by different people in a different vein. Now bringing them in, how do you guys coordinate the individual pieces with each of these uh, special guests and with <laughs> orchestra? Is that a loaded question for you? Well, <laughs> we, we normally, sometimes we don't have any guests at all, it's just the uh, orchestra, right, but yeah. then we normally have one guest artist. So operationally, this is going to be a challenge, but we've talked, we've had extensive talks with the Purdue Glee Club as well as the Texas Tenors. Everyone is doing their best to make sure that we make all this work. Okay. Um, you know, the tenors have their own way. They like to do things, and the Glee Club has sure. their own way. But we've talked to them and said, okay, we're going to have to change the stage for you and then change the stage for you. Yeah. Be patient with so us. So how do you do that? How do you change the stage in between? Well, we're <laughs> probably going to use some young men, um, you know, okay. uh, 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 in, in Laporte to help us. I'm too old. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but... <if laughs> But, um, and our stage is not the biggest stage in uh -huh. the world either, so we kind of have to be... You guys are going to be at the Civic Auditorium, It's going to be at the right? Civic okay. Auditorium okay. in LaPorte. Okay. So, which is really a small arena. We have tables on the floor and then the balcony in a U-shape. Uh, but it, it'll, it'll all work out. It, it'll be yeah. fine. And the audience won't know any different. They'll just know yeah. that it's a great night. That's wonderful. And this, you know, <laughs> being the culminating event for the five-year celebration, you know, how has that lived up to your expectations? This is a, it has it's lived been up years to our in the making. <laughs> it has lived up to our expectations. I have to say, we, we planned a lot. We raised a lot of money to make it work. Um, and so we added another concert to the season. We've added, uh, I think, almost 20 small ensemble concerts that we've never done before. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, we put banners up around La Porte honoring our yeah. musicians. Um, uh, we put... Uh, uh, designed a 50th anniversary book. So there's uh, lots of things that have gone on, but it's all worked. Great. It, it's all worked. And the musicians are, are loving it. Our audience is loving it. Um, so it's now, what do we do next year? <laughs> <laughs> That's Keep up be, the momentum. What are we going to do now? Right, yeah. Well, do you have big plans for next year? Is We're working on it. You Listen, are. Okay, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. But in the meantime, I encourage people to come out yeah. and enjoy this last uh, opportunity you. to really see those, the you. symphony orchestra and all that you guys have to offer. I appreciate it. Such a wonderful thing to have with the performing arts right here in our community. You know, I'm not from northwest Indiana or from St. Joe County or LaPorte County, but I've been so impressed with the amount of arts and quality yeah. arts that we have here. Absolutely. It's a hidden jewel. It really is. I'm yeah. very, very impressed. And, and happy to be a part of it. Awesome. Thanks so much, Tim. You're welcome. <laughs>